hello guys today i'll be discussing another new drug approved by fda and in 2020 and that drug is known as taprotumumab so it's a monoclonal antibody and taprotumumab guys it is an anti igf1 receptor monoclonal antibody which has been approved by fda recently for treatment of thyroid eye disease or orbitopathy for which the most common cause is obviously a disorder called as graves disease now first of all you need to understand what happens in Graves disease guys in Graves disease what we have is we have antibodies which are stimulators of PSH receptors but these antibodies they also stimulate IGF1 receptor and this stimulation of IGF1 receptor in the eyeball fibroblasts is what is responsible for thyroid eye disease now how does this happen let us see see what happens in case of graves disease there is an increased permeability of immune cells into the eyeballs and in these immune cells there are orbital i mean in the eyeball we have orbital fibroblast right and these immune cells they produce immunoglobulins like immunoglobulin g and this immunoglobulin what it does it binds to your igf1 receptors which are present in the orbital fibroblast they stimulate these orbi uh, orbital fibroblast to synthesize a product called as hyaluronan and this hyaluronan what it does is it activates it activates mononuclear cells and these mononuclear cells what they do they will increase production of inflammatory mediators and that will increase sclerosis and fibrosis in the tissues in and around the eyeball and that causes guys movement of the eyeball forward proptosis which is seen in orbitopathy plus there can be fibrosis of the eyelids so there can be lid retraction as well as that can be seen so these are the symptoms of guys uh, thyroid orbitopathy and the reason why they are seen now to block this what we have done we have designed a drug called as taprotumumab and what is taprotumumab it is an inhibitor of igf1 receptor so in the orbital fibroblasts by blocking igf1 receptor i will block production of hyaluronan and so orbitopathy would not be seen now if you look at this drug taprotumumab guys the route of administration of taprotumumab it is intravenous infusion cardinose infusion and eight infusions we have to give and out of those eight infusions the first infusion guys the first infusion the dose is 10 milligrams per kilograms whereas rest seven infusions the dose is 20 milligrams per kilograms side effects of taprotumumab is quite simple guys it blocks igf1 receptor it will decrease insulin uptake by your cells thus result in a side effect called as hyperglycemia apart from that it can also cause hearing loss as well as worsening of inflammatory bowel disease or ulcerative colitis and cross disease so we have to be careful while prescribing this drug to patients of inflammatory bowel disease so guys this is what we have to discuss today a new drug approved by fda in 2020 and guys this drug is important because this is the first drug that can address the real problem that is orbitopathy in graves disease for which until now we did not have any drug for treatment of this condition guys all right guys so all the best to all of you I'll keep on posting new drugs and uh, some things uh, now and then, uh, whatever new updates do come, right? And guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link so that you get an update whenever I post something. All the best.